What is the basic rule of Salat al-Tasbih? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi wa alihi wa sahbihi. Wa man ihtada bi hudahu amma ba'd. Salat al-Tasbih. Scholars have different opinions regarding it because of or depending on the authentication of the hadith. And the hadith is well known. It was narrated by Al-Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib. May Allah be pleased with him when the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wassalam, Ya Abbas, Ya Amma Rasulullah, Hal u'atik, Hal u'hdik. And he showed him a format of a prayer that has no prayer similar to it with a number of tasbih in each and every step and movement of the prayer. And then he concluded by saying, if you pray this every single night, Allah will forgive your sins. And if you pray it once a week, or if you pray it once a month, or if you pray it once a year, or if you pray it once in a lifetime, Allah will forgive your previous sins. So the scholars, it, it, this is uh, the cornerstone, whether it's a correct thing to do or not. That is, authenticating the hadith. Al-Imam al-Albani and the scholars of Sham of Syria, they authenticate this hadith. And they say that this is an authentic hadith and the chain of narrators is correct and, and, and uh, authentic. But the other scholars of Islam, such as Shaykh al-Islam bin Taymiyyah, Shaykh al-Islam bin al-Qayyim, and also the other shaykh, Shaykh bin Baz bin Athameen, and the rest of uh, the scholars said that this is not an authentic hadith. Though this chain of narrators are, uh, is okay, but the core of the hadith, the matin itself, is rejected. Because it is something that is not similar to any other prayer. And only Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated this hadith. And none of the companions of the Prophet ﷺ ever did this or even praised it or mentioned it. Which means that it is an isolated incident and this is what made the scholars say that this is a fabricated hadith one would say so okay if there's a difference of opinion should we do it once in a lifetime my personal opinion is no because had, it, even if it had a minute amount of authenticity to it some of the companions would have done it the prophet would have said it sallallahu alaihi wasallam to other companions but had it not been the case, therefore I consider it to be a fabricated hadith and a Muslim should not try it. Don't try it at home. And Allah knows best. <laughs>